Hello and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial on how to apply fake tattoos. Um, here I've got a picture which has got a fair bit of spare space to apply some tattoos to. And here I have a picture which I've got off Google Images of a tattoo. Now we'll start off with this here. We'll press C to bring up the cropping tool, start up in the corner and drag it over to here to get rid of that border. Hit enter. Okay, now I want to get rid of this little red spot, so I'll zoom in a bit, spacebar and control and left click, and I'll press W for the one tool, and we'll want to click on that there, and hit delete. Control D, deselect, C control, alt, spacebar and left click to zoom out, and now we'll drag this across over here. As you can see at the moment, this layer it has this white background on it. We'll go over to the layer properties and we'll set it as multiply. As you can see, that gets rid of all the lighter colors and it keeps the black there. Now we want to press Control T and we want to move it around until you've got it in about the right position you want. As you can see, you get this little arrow when you put it up near the corner. This makes it so you can rotate it. And you may want to make it a bit bigger as well. You can change it to your liking. It's about right there. So I'll hit enter. Now we want to zoom in a bit on it. C control, Alt, S Control, Spacebar, and left click. OK, now we'll press Control T again. And up on the bar up here, you can see it says switch between free transform mode and what mode. We'll click that. Now we want to give this a bit more of a 3D effect, uh, because right now it's looking really flat. So we'll grab different parts of it. As you can see, you can stretch it out. The parts that's in the middle of the arm, you want to stretch out, make bigger, and parts towards the end of the arm, you want to pull in, make smaller, so it's wrapping around your arm. You can spend as much time in that as you want, but we'll leave it like that for now. Now you want to hit that, go to the opacity on this, and we'll take it down to around 80%. You can change it to whatever you like. Now we'll get out the eraser tool and we want to erase it so that it the parts that are hanging off the end of the arm we can get rid of. For this step you may want to change the opacity down quite a bit lower just for the time being so that you can see the parts where it meets the arm. I'm going over this quite fast, but when you do it yourself, you can take your time a bit more and get it right. You also may want to zoom in to make sure that you get it right on the edge and it's not being cut off or hanging over. Now we'll change the opacity back up to around 80. And now we want to come to the blur tool. And that's the hotkey of R if you want to know that. Now we just want to go over it a bit and you want to blur the edges towards the end of the arm a bit more and this will add some depth to it as well. Make sure that you get the blur all over it and this will also add to the faded effect. You may want to change the opacity a bit, a bit to make it look more realistic. Control zero and there you go, you have your tattoo. You can apply as many as you want, and this is what it may look like after you apply quite a few. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and I hope you found it useful. Bye.